Hello everyone! Over the course of 10 years, our team has made and smoothed, at the very least, 30,000 cakes. So I want to tell you about the most common mistakes that can occur when smoothing a cake with cream cheese frosting. We have personally encountered each of these, so are happy to share our knowledge and solutions to these problems. The first and most crucial mistake for a beginner pastry chef is an improperly assembled cake, or assembly without a cake ring. If you're working with an untested recipe, or if the cake wasn't assembled correctly or in a cake ring, then trouble is bound to happen. You can frost and decorate such a cake, but you can't be sure of the end result, because it may tilt, shift, or crack. In short, it may ruin the celebration for both the customer and you. So what do you do? Assemble your cake in a cake ring, and use a small press. Or if you find it more convenient to assemble without a cake ring, then after assembling, be sure to clamp the cake into an adjustable cake ring and let it stabilize in the ring. Once we assembled a tall cake for content, unfortunately I don't have the footage. It was hot in the room and the cake had a delicate filling. We were almost done with the assembly when the cake started to collapse. We quickly caught it, clamped it into a ring, and put it to stabilize in the fridge. In the end, we got a smooth cake with a perfect cut. So here's a tip, use tested cake recipes from experienced cake bakers. You can always find them on our website, just follow the link below the video. Mistake number two, it's just as important to let the cake stabilize for at least six hours, ideally no less than eight to 10 hours. This will give all the components sufficient time to set and the cake to sink in a bit. I know for sure that there are cake bakers who ignore this rule in an attempt to save time. But if you don't want nightmares about cracked cakes, don't neglect this rule. The third mistake is using unsuitable cake boards. A sturdy base for the cake will save you nerves, time, and money. This is especially relevant for wedding cakes and tall cakes. Thin cake boards, especially made of cardboard, will bend under the weight of the cake and deform due to moisture. This may lead to the cake cracking, tilting, or the cake may not reach the destination at all. We have solved this issue with good plywood cake boards, at least 6 millimeters thick. You can order them in different diameters and even glue them together for added strength. The fourth mistake is using an unsuitable cream cheese frosting recipe. The frosting might turn out too runny or inconvenient to work with. This is especially relevant during the summer season. Pay attention to the room temperature. It has a direct effect on how much time you have to work with the cream and the cake. If the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius or higher, the butter in the frosting will start to melt, and the frosting will become very unstable. To avoid this, use a timer, set the time, and put the cake and frosting in the refrigerator to stabilize. Just recently, we added a new tutorial with three cream cheese frosting recipes onto our website. This tutorial will provide you with everything you need to know about cream cheese frosting. You will learn about three types, heavy cream based, butter based, and chocolate frosting. We have been working with these for several years and have never been disappointed. They are very stable and high quality. I have left a link to our school's website below the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's keep going. The fifth mistake in our list is improperly prepared cream cheese frosting, which will greatly complicate the entire smoothing process. Before applying the frosting and during the coloring process, the frosting needs to be whipped and filled with air. This is indicated by the numerous bubbles in its texture. If you start smoothing a cake with such frosting, you will be horrified by the number of bubbles on the cake. Therefore, make sure to smooth it out after whipping. Spread, rub, and smooth the cream cheese frosting with a spatula until it becomes uniform and smooth. Also, pay attention to the recipe, preparation nuances, and follow the instructions precisely to achieve a smooth, lump-free frosting. The sixth mistake is related to coloring cream cheese frosting. This is a separate video topic since we are preparing a new YouTube lesson on coloring frostings, but I'll highlight a couple of nuances right now. If you're making a vibrant frosting and are using gel food colorings, keep in mind that too much color can thin the frosting out. No stabilizer will be able to save it. It will remain liquid even after refrigeration. The second nuance matters if you're using dry titanium dioxide. This is a white coloring agent that helps whiten butter-based cream cheese and eliminate its characteristic yellowish tint. It's essential to sift the titanium dioxide to have a lump-free frosting. In addition, titanium dioxide absorbs moisture from the frosting, causing it to dry up. This can cause small cracks on the coating. And the seventh mistake I want to highlight is using a low-quality plastic turntable. 
You can, of course, get used to it and use it for smoothing. But if you want to improve your skills and the quality of your products, a reliable and heavy metal turntable will become your faithful friend and assistant. You will immediately feel the difference from the first use. Its sturdy construction, smooth rotation, and stable support for the cake will impress you and you won't regret the investment. So that's our list of mistakes. Now that you know everything, you're bound to make something beautiful. Feel free to leave comments about the difficulties you've encountered during the smoothing process. And visit our school's website for great lessons. This was Nastasia and The Cake Course. I wish you all smooth, beautiful cakes. Till next time, bye bye!